So today I wanted to clarify when to use Pythagoras and when to use sine, cosine, and tangent because I often see it getting confused. So looking at three different problems, one, two, and three. Let's first look at what we've been given for each of these. So here I'm given a side and a side. And what do I want? I want a side. How about question two? Here I've been given a side and an angle and I want a side. And for question three, I've been given side and a side, but what do I want? I want an angle. Okay, so key thing to notice here. Which of these problems have anything to do with angles? Angles been given in the diagram here, and angle is what we want, and it's also indicated in the diagram. But what do we notice about this side? No angles given or wanted. So here we use Pythagoras. Here we're given angle. So we have some information about angles. Here we want an angle. So in both cases, use your trig, your sine, cosine, and tangent functions. Okay. So, just to break these problems down and solve them, for question number one, Pythagoras. Remember, Pythagoras says, c, well, we can write it the other way, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c squared is the longest side. So here we have a, b, and C. And it absolutely doesn't matter. We could write the other way for A and B. We could say A here and B here. So for the short sides of the triangle, it does not matter. And in this case, the long side, the hypotenuse, is always opposite the 90 degree. So to solve for C, we're going to take the square root of A squared plus B squared. So in this case, what we're actually going to solve for is x, but it is the longest side, so we're going to have 4 squared plus 3 squared, which is equal to 5. Okay, using our trigonometry for the other two problems, we need to think about our so Katoa information, right? The little thing we use to hint for ourselves. So, so ka and again, because I'm given information about an angle or I'm looking for an angle, I now know I'm going to use trigonometry, either sine, cosine, or tangent. So taking a look at the information given in question two, this is the adjacent side, and it's adjacent because it's actually touching the angle, and this is the opposite because it's opposite, it's pointing opposite the angle given to us. So we have O and A and an angle. So that means in this case we're going to use tangent for TOA, T-O-A. So for those of you guys using these triangles to help you, a little formula triangle to help you remember how to do this, we're actually looking for the O, so we cover it up. And we times across. So remember, this is tangent of the angle, which is 60 degrees, times the adjacent, which is 2. And that will give us the opposite. So in this case, x is equal to, or I should say x there, x is equal to tangent 30 times 2. So tan, sorry, tangent 60, tangent 60 times 2. using the calculator, and what do we get? We get 3.46. So there's our answer for x. Okay. 
Now for question number three, we're looking for, in this case, an angle, and we've been given the sides, but let's figure out what we've been given. This is the adjacent side, because it's touching the angle. That side is shared. And this happens to be the hypotenuse, or the longest side, because it is opposite the 90 degrees. So we have A and H, so we're going to be using cosine. So CA will be our little acronym to help us. And we are looking for the angle, which means we actually are going to cover up the C. And remember, when you see it written like this, when we cover up the C, that's A over H, meaning we need to actually make a fraction. So this is going to tell us that X is equal to cosine inverse of A over H. So X is equal to cosine inverse of 7 over 15. And we plug that into our calculator. We get... 62, 62.18, and this is an angle, so that's degrees, and we could probably round that to just 62 degrees. Okay, so again, key point for us, if there are no angles involved, none at all, we want to use Pythagoras. So no angles, we're only looking for sides, and we're going to use Pythagoras. Okay. And if angles are used, you're going to use sine or cosine. You'll use your trig functions. So keep that in mind again. No angles, use Pythagoras. Angles given or angles wanted, use your trigonometry.